everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Today, I have something really special for you. I want to speak to you about one of my top supplements crucial to lifespan and health span. Okay, it's called Coenzyme Q10, COQ10 for short. <clears throat> it is a supplement with a lot of science to support its proclaimed health benefits. Okay, I have been taking it myself. I have been taking it for numerous years, many years. COQ10 levels peak at about the age of 25, then plunge to about 50% of its original levels by the age of 65. A 2022 meta-analysis of human studies, a lot of studies, on COQ10 from 1997 to 2021 showed that it significantly improved blood glucose, HbA1c, and insulin levels. Okay? It has been shown to have explicit effect effectiveness for many diseases, mitochondrial health, and the aging process. <laughs> this video will discuss all these proven benefits, how to improve its bioavailability, and the method, the specific method I use when taking COQ10. So let's take an intense dive into, the, into COQ10. You're going to like this, I promise you. Okay, and remember to like this video and subscribe if you still need to do so. Okay, don't hesitate. So let's start. What exactly is COQ10? COQ10 is like a vitamin-like compound found in every single cell in your body. Similar to vitamins, it is unquestionably essential to life. However, since our bodies can make COQ10, it's not technically a vitamin, okay? Our cells, our cells ability to produce COQ10 depends on an amino acid called tyrosine, at least eight, eight vitamins and several trace minerals. COQ10 production is impaired in the cells when these nutrients are deficient, okay? Our bodies can make COQ10, but as we get older, with age, it becomes more like a vitamin because we our bodies produce less and less. We're just not able to produce as much. A daily requirement of COQ10 is estimated at about 500 milligrams daily. Only a tiny comes from our food, about five, five milligrams. Far too little to provide any clinical, clinical benefits. So supplements become vital with age. <clears throat> so how does CQ10 impact the aging process? This is really good. I like this. For starters, Many randomized control trials have shown that COQ10 benefit health. For example, take this 2022 meta-analysis of randomized control trials shows that COQ10 can reduce fasting glucose, fasting insulin, HbA1c, and helps with insulin resistance. And this 2018 meta-analysis demonstrates that COQ10 can significantly decrease cholesterol and increase HDLs. The other 2022 meta-analysis showed that taking 100 to 150 milligrams of COQ10 daily reduces oxidative stress. And this 2022 study conducted on people over 65 showed that high COQ10 levels are directly associated with low cardiovascular risk, high physical activity, and stronger muscle capacity. As we age, the drop in COQ10 levels may be a primary factor why older people develop chronic diseases. Therefore, maintaining optimal levels of COQ10 through our life is critical, critical to prolong, prolonging health span. Now, let's talk about COQ10 for mitochondrial health and aging. You're going to like this part, too. Let's discuss how the health of your mitochondria impacts aging and how COQ10 is at the forefront of all this. In his book, Mitochondria and the Future of Medicine, Dr. Lee No, an expert in mitochondria, describes COQ10 as arguably the most important nutrient for mitochondrial health. Mitochondria are the micros are microscopic organ-like structures called organelles. They are found in every cell and their health is essential to every function in our body. I mean everything. They take the oxygen and food we eat, convert it into 90% of the cellular energy known as ATP. The human body cannot live without this ATP energy. As we age, mitochondrial biogenesis weakens, which means less mitochondria is created by our body, resulting in less produced ATP needed for survival. This is why at 80, you move slower, have less endurance, are frailer, weaker, and are less alert than when you were 20. This is known as mitochondrial dysfunction, a very well-known hallmark of aging. 
Mitochondrial biogenesis dysfunction is connected to age-related decrease of a critical regulator that helps make the new mitochondria called PGC-1A. So how can we fix this age-related mitochondrial breakdown? COQ10 is the answer. It can significantly increase PGC-1A levels. The bottom line is that without COQ10, the mitochondria cannot produce ATP. And the less COQ10 we have in our bodies, the less ATP we make, resulting in age-related diseases and premature death. Talk about dosage and how to best take COQ10. Numerous clinical trials <clears throat> have shown that you should take small daily doses, take it in smaller doses. For example, let me explain. It has been shown that if you take 200 milligrams in one clip, in one dose, and compare it to taking it 100 milligrams of COQ10 in divided doses, like twice daily, you will get much more significant amount of it into your bloodstream with the divided doses, not with the one dose. Usual doses is about 90 to 200 milligrams of COQ10 daily. However, more may be needed depending on exactly what you're trying to treat. If you are simply trying to fight the aging process, then 100 to 200 milligrams of COQ10 daily has been recommended. Or always speak to your doctor to determine exactly what dose suits you best. Everybody's different. So let's talk about how do we make COQ10 more bioavailable? Because there has been problems in the past with this. Since COQ10 is a fat-soluble nutrient, our bodies do not absorb it <clears throat> very effectively. This is why taking it with a meal containing some fat is highly recommended. It's, it improves its absorption. Okay? Studies have proven that when you take COQ10 with food, it increases its absorption by 33%. Studies have also shown that taking COQ10 with piperine enhances its bioavailability. There are enzymes in your liver called cytochrome P450 enzymes, CYPs for short, that appear to break down the structure of COQ10, making it less bioavailable once you swallow it. Okay? Piperine inhibits the CYPs from breaking down the COQ10, thus making it more bioavailable, more reaching to your blood. Okay? It has been shown for over 20 years that piperine enhances COQ10 bioavailability by at least 30%. In other, like I said, in other words, more of the COQ10 makes it into your bloodstream, which is good for your mitochondria and for your health. How I personally take COQ10, let's talk about that. I take this brand here, okay? I'm not sponsoring this company. I'm just showing you the brand I take. For the reason stated earlier, I take 100 milligrams of COQ10 with 5 milligrams of piperine twice daily, and I take it with food that has some fat, okay? I eat some of the food. I take the COQ10. Okay, that's what it looks like. And then I eat the rest of the food. I chose this brand <clears throat> because it is USP verified, ensuring that it contains what's listed on the bottle and much more, as you can see. Okay, it's USP verified. If you're older, the objective is to increase your CO2 10 levels and maintain its steady state. In other words, if you stop taking it, its levels will drop to lower levels, especially if you're older. For this reason, I take it daily and will continue to do so. It's harmless, okay? Let me speak about harmless. Are there any side effects, okay? Coenzyme Q10 is a well-studied substance with a well-documented safety of 1,200 milligrams per day per person. As always, like I, re I repeat it again, speak to your doctor before taking COQ10 to determine if you have any underlying issues that may cause adverse effects, okay? Everyone is different, so you need to speak to your doctor about this, okay? In conclusion, in conclusion, I have shown plenty of scientific evidence proving that high levels of COQ10 significantly benefits health span and lifespan. Don't abuse this, this supplement, but don't ignore it either, okay? It helps with healthy longevity, uh, longevity. I have shown excellent ways to enhance its bioavailability so you can get the most of this supplement, okay? COQ10 levels decrease with age, and our job is to maintain an optimal level in all our cells if we want to slow the progression of age-related diseases and the aging process itself. Food rich in COQ10 will not do the job, so we must supplement it. We must. If you like the information in this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you still, if you still need to, okay? So you can see unique future videos on health span and lifespan. Have a wonderful day.
I'll see you in my next video.